Let's see if I remember how to do this. Hi. What's up, Sinners? I've been in Sin here with another reaction. Sorry I've been gone for so long, but it's good to see you guys again. Um it, it's been it's been a while since I've done this, so excuse me if I'm rusty. I've already had audio issues tonight and I've been trying to fix them, so it's like almost five in the morning. So hopefully we get done with this. Um with enough time to spare, get editing done and get this out on time. Um it's been a minute i've missed you guys i'm sorry i've been gone for so long but you guys know the circumstances have been kind of rough um if, if you haven't already been aware um asia is no longer with us and you know rest in peace but i do have a nice memorial set up back here for everyone to enjoy and uh she's gonna be in every video from now on and uh, we've got a few surprises coming out this year for you guys i hope you guys will enjoy them hopefully they come out this year it's a lot of work to do but um, I've got a big project that I'm working on and I'm really hoping that you guys will enjoy it when it's ready um, But we're not gonna talk about that now because I'm nowhere near finished. So uh, But I do have a little mini series coming for you guys uh, Probably next week Probably next week, and I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. Um, it'll be for patreon to start and then it'll jump over to YouTube So if you guys are interested in any extra stuff that I have going on you can jump over to patreon check that out And uh, if you're interested in following me or becoming part of the community you guys can drop a comment leave a like and uh, Subscribe if you you know, you're feeling it. It's, it's really up to you. We're here to watch um, The rise of bong ton today because I realize there are two or three episodes that I haven't seen yet And I figured this would be a good way to ease back into the swing of things and and just kind of get the ball rolling I guess so I hope you guys enjoy everything uh, It's been a minute and I'm um, very eager to get this started. So let's go ahead and get this bread All right chapter 19. Let's go I think I can get this done before Cassie's awake. It would be lucky. Let me make sure my audio is good. Yeah, it looks fun. Look at that stage, bro. That hype music too, you hear it? Been listening to a lot of uh, instrumental stuff lately for projects and whatnot, so I'm noticing these things. Bong time Google! <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean look, just climbing the charts. This game is. <laughs> pressure. <laughs> Just pressure? Pressure. For those of you who don't know what 808 is, it's bass. That's fair. That's that's a fair assessment. Okay, so this analyzation process, let's first talk about pressure, right? They're talking about how there's all this pressure to maintain and be at the top, right? And one of the things that there's a saying that says, the only thing that can touch you at the top of a mountain is lightning, right? It's a it's just a saying, but like it, the metaphorically symbolic sense of this phrase is that like once you get to the top, yes, you've made it to the top. There's no one else above you, but you now have the pressure from all these people below you or not as successful as you 
trying to take your spot and knock you off that top of the mountain, right? The lightning or some unforeseen event or something beyond your control is the only thing that can knock you down as long as you're maintaining, right? So, so I could see that you got to think, man, like we're not these people. We, we don't know what kind of pressures they go through, what kind of things that they've been exposed to is famous. You know, we want to be famous. We want to have attention and glory and money and all this stuff. But what do you do when you get there? Like, how do you act? You know, <laughs> do you go crazy and buy everything? Do you, do you set an example, which I think that they're doing really, really well setting an example. Um, you know, what do you do with that kind of power, I guess? And then what kind of pressure or things come with that power, those obligations, those responsibilities. There's a lot to think about. The other thing I want to pay attention to is look at how hard they're listening to their own music. This is any creator's prerogative when it comes to creating something. They're looking or they're listening extremely intently so that they can find their own mistakes so that no one else will knock them off the top of the mountain. I love this song, by the way. That's fair. Fatigue does accumulate. I didn't even think about their mistakes. Like, what's the perfection? Like, you know, they perfected so much of everything that I almost don't see them as being able to make a mistake. When they make a mistake, I'm shocked, essentially. So, I didn't think about that. Yogi 저희가 6년 차까지 됐구나. 이제 많은 얘기들을 들어보면은 That's from the highlight reel, right? The scene. 요즘에는 거의 지치기도 쉽고 그리고 다치기도 하고 to say that to say that you're going to burn out or get injured, I feel like they go a little bit hand in hand. You get burnt out, you're going to end up getting injured. If you get injured, uh enough times you get burnt out on it like right so um it's a real thing it's a real thing i know i was staring at my computer working on something the other day and i was waiting for something for like five minutes i was just waiting for this this action to to execute itself so that you know i was just waiting for this thing to fix and i'm just sitting there staring at the screen like why isn't this working why isn't this working turns out it had already done it and i had just missed it because I was so tired, so I had to turn the computer off because I was just like, okay, I'm burnt out, I'm done, you know, and then the next day I didn't do anything because I just, I was so over it for the day. Needed that time. Because you love it, Jimin. You see that? You see the look of confusion on his face, like he had no clue, and rightfully so. I mean, how young are they? Right? How young is Jim? And he's in his twenties. I didn't know what I wanted to do in my 20s. You're lucky if you know what you want to do in your 20s. I just recently figured out what it is that I want to do with my life. And I'm going to be 36 this year. So it's like, you know, what, what, 
what do you want from me? Live life, figure it out. Like, don't ask, don't ask me what I want to do because I won't know until it's in front of me. That's just, that's how I operate, so. It's young forever, isn't it? God, I miss the BU, dude. Ugh. Let's get another BU song, please. Thank you. No, it's part three or something. I'll always be in amazement at how they set up a maze out of cages. It's the middle of a parking lot. That was enough. That's all you needed. The truth untold. Now, for those of you who don't know, truth untold's in my top five songs uh, that I've heard so far. I just love the way it sounds. It's it's got good meaning and it's just a beautiful song and taste just did it justice you know and if i remember right the truth untold came out when they were going through some issues so maybe this episode might not be the happiest i hope it's not too bad because this is my comeback episode <laughs> ah chef napkins <laughs> is he wearing a dc shirt yes <laughs> oh, come on. You're not that you're not that big of a deal with chefing it, are you? Like there are rules and in, in, in cooking and stuff and like do this right like me i'm gonna like make it all fancy and be like like that right <laughs> he almost did it but then he caved very clean it's always nice to keep a clean kitchen if i remember right he's packing lunches for the boys who had to do the punishment there was tay and nam Yep. I think this is a run episode. You would not catch me walking outside when it's snow on the ground before the sun comes up. Is that a playground at the top of a mountain in the middle of the woods? We don't have that kind of stuff here. Early morning ambiguity. Oh, 
Do you ever notice that a sunset and a sunrise look almost identical at their apex of horizon? Oh, <laughs> What? Just because they were tired or? Such a mood, dude. So he was saying, like, we got two vantage points here. We got Jimin's vantage point, and we got uh, Yumi's vantage point. Vantage point, right? Like, let's start with Jimin. Jimin is feeling burnt out and tired and all the depressive things that you feel when you're down in the dumps or lonely or whatever, however you want to say it, when you're depressed, right? And um, he's being overworked, like they all are. Like, I, I, don't, I don't blame them for, for getting tired of the same old thing or working their butts off every day and not having a reprieve. Like, and think about when you get famous, right? Like, how do you handle going everywhere and everyone knowing who you are? Like, I'm sure it'd be cool at first, right? That's why they wanted the debut in the first place for the fame and the glory and the honor and all that stuff. But at what point does it become a thing to where you don't want it to happen anymore? You just wish you could go shopping like a normal person without being confronted or tackled or bombarded or whatever the word you want to choose. And um, it is funny because like Johnny Depp said the same thing and that's why he doesn't like to go out because at first he thought it was cool, but then it got to be too much. And now he lives like this ultimately private life. If he can handle it, he doesn't go out in public and it's because of that. And he didn't want to expose his kids to that. Yada, yada, yada. You guys have probably been watching it more than I have. But how do you how do you handle a situation like that? Like, can you handle that with grace? Or would, do you think that it would eventually make you go over the edge and just blow up on somebody? And then you got Yungi over here. Yungi's talking about how he has his problems, right? But he's more concerned about the troubles of other people than he is of himself it's you know this i don't want to call it savior complex but like that's it's kind of where it's going right and it's like i would rather help somebody else because it gives me more gratification knowing that i can make another person's life happy versus dealing with my own problems it's both good and bad and then you got jimin um circling back you know he realizes that as well that everyone else has their own problems and that can be a crutch 
but it can also humble you really fast so if 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 you make it about you it can be humbling to learn that everyone else is dealing with their own stuff and they don't really like they don't have time but it can also be disheartening to hear that as well because you need somebody in that moment it's a good place to start. Uh,就是，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，
it's his daydream, right? Oh, they came to visit him. <laughs> so happy. Puppy, Oh, <laughs> 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 Isn't it crazy? The lighting, like it looks real, but it's not. I always forget the rooms or stages, dude. Can I just say that I've come a long way since I started doing BTS stuff, right? And in that time, I've also learned a lot about like, you know, special effects and my projects and CGI and stuff like that. And it's like, I remember watching this the first time and wondering how they did a few things. And now that I know how to do them, I'm sitting here, I was like, I could show them how this is done. Like that, would y'all be interested in something like that? I don't know. But I mean, it's, it's just interesting. I can't watch movies the same way or TV shows the same way anymore because I'm always trying to break things apart now. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why did you refer to yourself in the third person, Jacob? Sorry, I had to make sure he was talking about himself. I think it's interesting. Let's talk about the shadow in this world, right? Like when I think shadow, I think like the song, I think of Yungi shadow and how he refers to it about it being the negatives of the world and uh, how it can be overbearing and you can't ever break away from them, right? And like when I see the colors and the tones in this video, I don't think of shadows in, in the slightest because it's got too many bright tones to it. And to me, it kind of shies away from 
the meaning behind the song if, if if it is about the shadow but it can also drive it to the meaning because just because you are experiencing the negatives of the world doesn't mean it can't be bright happy and sunshiny on the outside you know what i mean so and usually that's the case is most people when they say that someone was going through depression or something happened because they were going through depression um if you ask anybody that that person knows usually their answer is i never thought he would do something like that or they didn't seem like they were you know unusually different than they always are so i guess it's a uh, I guess it's a play at both. So, I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry, if somebody were sitting on my bed, I'd be sl I'd be throwing kicks. Oh, he got a lot of love. So cool. I was wondering how they were doing that. I always want to know what draw like revolving shots are done with because usually they're drones, but like sometimes you get a, a like a track or a ski track or something like that. It's like everybody's going through the same thing, but nobody is talking to each other about it. Okay, I stand corrected. I was gonna say they had to have talked to each other to get over it, right? So, I mean, wow, look at all the cars. You don't, <laughs> I guess I didn't pay attention to this when I was watching season one, and this looks like season two, but um. Look at all the cars. <laughs> oh, I hate those little pool tables, dude. They're so annoying. Hey, hi, let's get him a real size pool table next time. Let's make it happen, Captain. Guarantee it'll be more popular than the ping pong table. What? I look like it went in and then just hop right back out. Bye. <laughs> 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 
말 그대로 좀 힐링이 됐다. 뭐 그런 느낌이었던 것 같다. 자, 여러분 막 하면 또 캠프파이어 아니겠죠? 아 그렇죠. 그렇죠. 저희 야, 클라스가 혹시... 커진 만큼 캠프파이어도 클라스가 커졌네요. <웃음> 아, 크지 않아요? 나 이런 캠프파이어 처음인데. 아, 나 진짜 못 이길 것 같아. 너무 부끄러워요. 타 들어가, 지민아. 아, 여기 마음에 재만 남았니? 편지 넣고 싶어요, 이렇게. 지민아, 지금 늦지 않았어, 던져. 다시. 저의 제목은 다행이다입니다. 오, 다행이다. 벌써 데뷔한 지. 너는 내 삶에 다 없었던 해 어린 시절 내 꿈이 누군가의 꿈이 되었다 나 또한 두렵고 우리 또한 두렵다 높은 창공을 꿈꿨지만 여기는 높고 추우며 숨이 가쁘게 많은 빛이 우리를 쬐수록 그림자도 많아지는 일곱이라 다행이다 함께여서 다행이다 God man take me back dude take me back I miss the BU so much Oh that was neat 세상의 모든 것은 지치기 마련 그 시간이 지금이 아니게 빌고 싶다 물 흘러가듯이 살고 싶었지만 나는 물이 아니라 치열하게 살아가는 동물이란 걸 느낀다 항상 행복하고 힘을 모아 무엇이든 이뤘지만 자연을 거스를 수는 없다 언젠간 저희도 지쳐서 이렇게 끝이 나는 날이 오겠지만 이 순간이 지금이 아니게 기는 마음으로 그렇습니다. 좋네. 진짜 안 했어, 진짜. 와 이거야, 이거 좋네. 패스를 해야 될 거? 야, 패스를 빼야 돼. 힘든 부분이 개인적으로 다 있었을 텐데도 불구하고 좀 그런 거를 다 이겨내줘서 <웃음> 어, 제일 고맙다고 말해주고 싶고요. 드디어? 오, 또 만들어야 돼. 남준아, 네. 헬프 물 버릴 건데 장면 좀 잡아줘. 아! 여기 여기 다 해야지 여기 이렇게. He burned himself. See who is that? JK. JK is doing it. See. You. Got to do it the right way, man. Stir in the pot. Puppy. It's cute dog. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I just feel like Yugi and Nam June go hand in hand. Like they just have a connection. Like I don't know if it's true, but like it looks like it. You know. 지금 힘들어하고 있는 멤버들도 나도 다시 뭔가 이유를 찾을 수 있을 것 같아. 나 원래 하던 것처럼 잘할 수 있을 것 같아서. Very well edited. I was thinking about this song the other day, dude. <sighs> this scene particularly. Okay. Before we move forward, because I'm having the thought now, I'm gonna theory army for you just a minute. A question that I might not have asked when I first originally saw this video is why is this room in utter destruction 
other than the fact you know we we hadn't seen film out when this came out obviously this is the same room set wise that they used but it's like supposed to be a different room in that video right i don't know film out has nothing to do with the bu but it, I, i'm always going to assume it will and does um but for me the key that he got he walked into that room from a place where he was supposed to trade in something that he no longer needed to get something that he did need but when he got what he needed it brought him to a, a let's just say a devastated room right so it didn't really make sense at the time but if you look at the aftermath of everything it's like you're trading in i don't even remember what he traded in did he trade in anything i think he just got the key but whatever he got for the whatever he put in for the key it's like the world became chaos right and if we follow the notes i mean that it falls in line with the story and the, the mood and stuff but i'll never that, that the little detail i wish they would have explained a little more or at least emphasized in some kind of visual a little more so that i could have better understood it because fake love is one of the more confusing videos for me it's almost like they were consumed by hate in that video. Maybe it was supposed to symbolize chaos. I don't know. See, now I'm thinking I'm thinking about things I shouldn't be thinking about while watching this. So let's hang on. All right, let's move forward. Such a cute dog. I'm not even a small dog fan, dude. Oh, that was a fun episode. <laughs> It's a good episode. feel like there was a lot going on in that time frame because like you think of all the things that they pushed into that year um those those three years from 2018 up until 2021 were just jam-packed stuff especially um more recent like and I, I mean i say that but like i got here late like i got here in 2020 so i'm still we're still two years out from when i showed up guys but like to think that they crammed so much in in their five years like after it hit the bu and they just that storyline just took off and it's like all their music just got so much more more i could say you know and maybe i'm wrong because i haven't heard everything yet so like maybe there's other stuff that that probably should have fit into that kind of mood or whatnot but it just really makes you think like you can get a lot accomplished if you put your mind to it and you want it bad enough and i feel like even though you want it bad enough you're gonna you can end up in the same spot that they were mentally and emotionally where you need a break or you question why you're doing anything anymore because i feel that way sometimes about a lot of stuff but the one thing that always keeps me coming back to the things that i enjoy doing is because i absolutely enjoy them you know and i may take a break but like I always come back you know and in this, I guess in their industry, they can't really do that for too long or to become irrelevant. You need to be relevant to be an idol. So, all right, let's jump over to the bonus content. I'll be right back. All right, we're back with the bonus content. Let's go ahead and get it going. I'm trying to make this video an hour long for you guys, but I don't know if we'll get there or not. Probably be a little over. 5.30. Oh, 
Always cutting it off at the course. Jerky! I haven't had jerky in forever. Was that a dog treat? Oh, I remember this. Carbonara. He got it anyway. That was the greatest thing. That was a good episode. I was shocked when that happened the first time. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe we got it. Bro, don't come in my bedroom waking me up with that noise, dog. And when I tell you, when I tell you, you summon a demon from the depths of hell if you wake me up the wrong way. <laughs> I am not lying. <laughs> Especially with the lack of sleep that yeah. I get. Oh boy. Yeah. Can I ask Cash? <laughs> this is Cash. This is Cash in the morning. Hey, it's time to get up. Mm. <laughs> Come on, gotta get up. Okay. I'm gonna go back to sleep. Just come back in. Brad's time to get up. Uh, how much time we got? When you gotta be at work? <laughs> 8.30. Alright, well, I got 10 minutes before we gotta leave, so, so let me sleep. They come in and... Alright, it's time to go. And, uh, <laughs> pull them under the covers. It's crazy how in sync they are. Maybe I'm not tripping. It's impressive. So you know they spent a lot of time together. What's on that? I'm assuming that's cake. Seriously, with the the nice glasses on, dude. He looks like a businessman. Oh, 
아 우리 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 지비 우리 지비가 있네요 여러분. 어, he struggles on the pitch, though. God, can I just say that I know I've only done this for a couple of years and I've only heard so many songs, but the things that like, I mean, I've heard like a hundred BTS songs already. Right. And to see the evolution of Jin going from being this quiet, more reserved adult type to being the more playful, um, outgoing, I'm trying to do different things. I want to sing different parts. I want to rap. I want to dance. Like I want to be better. Like I'm, I'm really proud of him and how far he's come. And the fact that they're, they let him do all that because he wanted to. I and mean, it was very beneficial to everybody, but it's impressive and admirable. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> if you squeeze it like um lengthwise, it's hard to do with one hand. I don't even know if it's possible. Yeah, He's so cute, dude. Loves his daddy. It's not right when you get his paw. It's it's get the paw, but you have to make eye contact. Fourteen millimeter lens, dude. He must have been right up in their face. Yep. <laughs> I was just taking a guess. I wasn't like. I 
살짝 웃은 거 같은데 아니에요? 이거? 아니, 형형거리는데좀 웃기게 하더라고. 옛날에 안주 미드칠 때 저희 가족 씨는 내가 해서 다시 할머니는 하고. Do you see the way? Check this out. Do you see the way they played with the lights in this scene? Cause like, what is that? Is that a light? That's not a light, is it? It looks like powder almost, or cloth. And I don't know. In theater, when they do um, when you have to do blood in theater, obviously you can't do real blood, you know. So you find a substitute, which is usually syrup. At this. Point in time, but it used to be a bandana or a red cloth, and they would just let it hang out, and that would signify the blood. So maybe that's what that is. I could be tripping though. It's not there anymore. Unless they took that that sunlight and color graded it after. I don't know. Just waiting. <laughs> I can't, man. I have this vision. Of, I have this vision of the BU, and they just tarnished it a little bit by goofing off in it. <laughs> to be you dude For the camera guy, man, and how hard he works. <laughs> Respect, bro. Man works hard. I still wear clothes like that. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I own one dress shirt. <laughs> if I do, it's just one. <laughs> oh wow, it was cold. I didn't even think that it might be cold. I think I thought it because like they're all wearing long sleeves, but the beach can be warm and it can still be cold at the beach because of the wind. One of my favorite songs. Such a good jam. <laughs> I 
the most relaxed dress rehearsal ever. <웃음> 하기 전에 시에서만큼은 형이라 부르면 좀 그럴까봐 석진이 약간 그렇게 한 거에 대해서 약간 조금은 이해를 전 쿨합니다 오케이 나도 가고 괜찮아요 나도 
you know, because it kind of makes sense if you're like, I'm going to make a resolution. So you're going to make a decision or you're going to make an end. You know, I don't know. It's a weird thought. Sorry. Hyundai 지지 이건 노래 가사가 참 재밌는데 지지가 생각하는 연로는 뭐예요? 제가 생각하는 연로는 침대 누워 분명거리며 자기가 <웃음> 좋아하는 것을 하고 있을 때가 연로 아닐까요? 누구나 원하는 삶 침대 누워서 아무것도 안 하고 있을 때 <웃음> It's mine 그대로 <웃음> 일을 하고 싶어하는 사람들이 있더라고요 그런 분들은 아, 하우스 댄서 어땠어요? 아, 제가 또 요즘 호브 온더 스트릿을 좀 많이 올리고 있죠. 네. 요즘 다시 되게 욕심이 생기더라고요. 그러니까 제가 어렸을 때의 그런 나의 열정들이 갑자기 문득 생각이 나더라고요. 그때는 진짜 정말 춤을 춤에 미쳐 있었기 때문에 내가 춤을 췄었던 걸로 기억하는데 그런 감정들을 좀 다시 한번 느끼고 싶었었어요. 예. 네. 그래서 다시 내가 못 했던 장르들의 춤들을 뭔가 배우고 싶다라는 생각. Yes, the girl from the highlight reel. 선택을 했던 게 하우스라는 Very much open. 댄스 장르였어요. 네. 재밌어요, 하우스 되게. 네. 그리고 이제 이번에 일본 활동 가면서 겸사겸사 뭔가 시간이 이제 좀 남는 시간들이 있더라고요. 그래가지고 저는 이제 스스로 관계자 분에게 이제 막 춤을 배우고 싶다. 일본의 유명한 댄서 분에게 춤을 배우고 싶다 해가지고 그래서 그러다 보니 It's funny. You can see the shift in their vibe with their moves. 다시 그 뭔가 어릴 적 그런 It's like you can see some of its technique right there, right? But then like you get to the point where their hips start moving. So went right there. That's that's vibing. 혼자 연습하기보다는 저도 뭔가 그 어렸을 때 그런 느낌들을 다시 생각을 해서 어좀 배워 보고 싶다라는 생각을 좀 많이 했어요. 그래서 This is very technical routine. 좀 유명한 댄서분들에게 좀 같이 가서 배우고 그런 영감들을 좀 받고 음, 하고 싶습니다 요즘은. 네. 여러분 또한 해가 지나갔습니다. <웃음> like he was gonna cry. <웃음> 올해도 고생하셨습니다. 네? 어 2017년 정말 많은 사랑을 받았던 한 해라고 생각해요. 그런 게다 여러분들 덕분에 있었던 일이었던 것 같고. 2018년도에도 뭔가 여러분들에게 흔치 않는 그런 모습들을 좀 많이 보여드리고 싶어요. 뭐 흥도 많고 이제 어 아직 너무 부족한 점도 많지만 그래도 나름대로 잘어 성장하고 있는 것 같아서 너무 감사하고 그리고 그 성장을 어 가장 많이 도와줘 가족과 친구들과 함께 우리 아민들이 너무 많이 집에 성장을 도와주 주셔서. 그리고 저를 제가 저를 사랑할 수 있게 많이 도와주셔서 정말 감사합니다. 저도 2018년에는 더 몸관리 잘해서 아미 여러분들에게 뭐 속상한 모습들 안 보이도록 많이 노력할 테니까 아미 여러분들도 저희 믿고 2018년에도 함께 했으면 좋겠습니다. Kind of upsetting to think that they used to not be able to show that they were sad. 같습니다. 저희 말고 여러분이요. 하시는 거다잘 되고 꿈 모두 이루시고 꿈이 없으신 분들도 괜찮습니다. 뭐꿈 없을 수도 있어요. 행복하시면 됩니다. 행복하게 새해를 시작하면서 행복하게 한해 
또 마무리 짓는 그런 2018년이 되었으면 좋겠습니다. 언제나 행복하시고 네, 건강하시고 손키스도 많이 받으시고 하트도 많이 받으시고 언제나 어, 건강하시고 이, 예, 해피하게 지내셨으면 좋겠습니다. 2018년엔 어, 항상 하루하루 행복한 하루만 됐으면 좋겠고 그리고 좋은 날만 가득했으면 좋겠고 음, 우는 날보다는 웃는 날만 있었으면 좋겠어 그러니까 어, 제가 함께 같이 어, 날 준비됐으니까 우리 2018년에는 같이 새로운 길을 또, 또 재미난 추억들을 만들어 보자고요 Fighting. Okay. I'll talk about this now. So I was waiting for him to finish because I wanted them to finish. But like, do you ever notice that when they say something, and it may not be them, it may be the, just the translation. Um, it's very like simple. If that makes sense, not in a negative way. Like what they're saying is great and it's positive, but it's like. We don't necessarily talk to each other that way. Hey, I hope we fly together. You know, like... Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, so so for me, it, it, like, I understand that, the, you know, things things get lost in translation or they get misinterpreted or whatever. Um, or maybe that their meanings for simplistic value is ambiguous enough to where it can cover multiple things and it's fascinating but it also is just like i don't know it just makes them seem so sincere does that make sense it's like i wonder if i spoke that way to people just straightforward no embellishment or exaggeration to any of my speech like would people take it the same way or would it be awkward because if i went to like korea and i talk like i do now people would probably think i'm crazy <laughs> right but if you if i were to ask them like even now if i asked a complete stranger like i don't know korean right so if i'm going to talk to a korean and they know a little bit of english what do you think they're going to do to me they're going to talk to me in the simplest manner that they can to get that information across even if they did and they were fluent they probably still would and there's nothing wrong with that i just it's so weird because we don't do that here and so i guess it's just throwing me through a loop it's not that weird it's just different ah i love his shelves i need some 당사자가 아니기 때문에 뭐 많은 걸 얘기할 수는 없지만 제가 호비의 믹스테이프 트랙을 이제 몇개 들어봤습니다. Wonder how often he has to dust his shelves and how long it takes him. He probably has somebody do it for him, but still. 정말 이런 작품을 만들 수 있는 친구가 돼. Do you see the eight o eight? Do you see the eight o eight? He got an eight. Oh, eight. 다 완성이 된건 아니지만 어쨌든 저한테 이제 몇개 들려줬는데 어... 아 진짜 이제는 Their studio is nice Their old studio is nice Yungi's new setup is crazy I'm, I'm so jealous 왜냐면 항상 그 전까지 고민, 호비가 고민하던 게 본인의 색이나 어떤 그런 이제 본인은 이제 춤으로 시작해서 나는 음악에 대해서는 약간 His own color? 있었는데 어떻게 보면 약간 좀 자신감 like his aura? 하던 그런 호비가 있었는데 근데 그 트랙 듣고 제가 진짜 아야 이제 진짜 됐다 12시가 되기 어 30분 전 11시 30분이었죠 Oh, the time before something releases Jesus talk about you want to you want to talk about tense I don't get paid for my work and it doesn't matter if it's a lyric translation or if it's a project I've been working on for a year. The last 10 minutes before something releases is usually the worst for me. And then the 10 minutes immediately after. Because the 10 before, I'm freaking out. I'm anxious. I don't know what to do. I don't know how it's going to be received. What am I going to do? Should I even be doing this? Did I do a good enough job? Like, I've got a million questions running through my head. I'm freaking out. I'm having a panic attack or something. And then after, I'm like, 
Okay, it only has 10 views. Okay, it only has one comment. Three hours later, I'm like, okay. It only has so many, you know, like an hour later, I'll be like, oh, it has 100 views in an hour. That's normal. Okay, for me, that's normal. Um, it's like, it's doing all right. And but you're just like freaking out the whole time, right? And you just, anytime you're doing something you're passionate about, you want to do it well. And when others don't, especially if it's artistic, when others don't receive it well, um, it's very discouraging, right? So keep that in mind, I guess, the next time you somebody wants your um, opinion on their work or to know what you think about something, being polite goes a long way, but we can also smell the bullshit. So um, just be direct <laughs> and then offer your thoughts on what you think is wrong. And maybe it might be because you're misinterpreting something, but at the same time, you're gonna open the eyes of the artist. And they'll be able to see it. And if they if they don't already see it. So <laughs> oh, it's so hard to wait. It's so hard to wait. Daydream. Daydream. I have a camera very similar to that one. I wonder why he chose that hat. It's interesting. I guess and Holly is his dog. Yes, cameos should always be a surprise. I hate when you're watching a movie and you expect a cameo. It's the worst. 
나한테 이렇게 친절하게 찍어주는 정국이를 너무 어, 고맙네요. 어, 고맙다. 맞아서 보도. 아이고, 아이고, 우리 친구. 아이고, 멤버 다 왔습니다. 야, 그래도 정말 매, 최고의 멤버들을 들고 왔대요. 잘 살았네요. 그러니까 예. 멤버들 다 왔어. 이게 뭔가 한꺼번에 온 것보다 한 번씩 오는 게 되게 많네. 아, 오늘 다 따로 왔구나. 다 따로 왔어, 거의. 오, 보름달 아닙니까? 잘 예쁘다. 달이 차오른다. 누가 <웃음> 너무 잘온거 아니야? 밥 드신 거 맞습니까? 뚜뚜뚜뚜뚜뚜뚜뚜뚜뚜. 자, 태영이 진영 출발. 안 하신 분들 빨리 한 번씩 해주세요. 네, 내가 간다. Feed the crew, bro. Yeah. That's awesome. 집에 없죠. 이제 <웃음> play on words. I feel like Jimin came up with this dance. And this was that turntable scene we saw. It's very, very, very cool, you guys. I hope you enjoyed yourself today. I know I did. It is late and I am slightly tired. And as you can tell, the sun is coming up behind me. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on editing and get this ready for you guys. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Hope you enjoy everything. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. When you see this, it'll be the end of the weekend. So I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And I uh, appreciate all of you for sticking by me and and being here today so and as always until next time i haven't had a chance to say this in a while <laughs> y'all stay safe stay healthy and then we'll check you guys later